one. It's a halfway mark at Park City, Utah. And we're training at University of Utah at the moment, so it's uh, camp's going really well. Yeah, look, one of the great things is um, you know, with, with research and particularly having a, a PhD program here that we commenced you know, nearly two years ago, uh, and that was in conjunction with the Australian Catholic University. And Blake uh, McLean, who um, holds that candidate now, he's, he's, the, um, he's the one who's doing research in altitude, and, um, which, is, which has been fantastic for the club. Yeah, so I came on board with Collingwood about 18 months ago now um, in a joint role with Collingwood Footy Club and Australian Catholic University um, as a PhD student. And since that time, my research has been um, developing in the area of uh, altitude training and how that affects uh, our players' physiology um, and performance. Um, we recently published a study in the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance um, from our altitude training camp last year, uh, looking into some of the physiology and the performance effects of, of going to our altitude training camps. Um, we found that the guys had about a three to four percent increase in their um, hemoglobin mass, which is relating to their red blood cells in their body. Um, and we found that the guys that came over to Arizona had about a two percent increase in performance above what the guys would get if they were training um, back in Melbourne. Yeah, so having more red blood cells in our body helps us carry oxygen around the body um, and deliver more oxygen to our working muscles. So therefore we can work at a higher capacity when we have those more red blood cells. Um, for our guys that means that during the pre-season they come over here, they get a little bit of a boost in their fitness. And then when we get back to Australia we have the ability to work even harder. Hang in boys. 5-10, go, go, go. Hang in. Go, 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 go. You want to sustain that competitive advantage. You've got to continue to you know, do your research, identify which players respond well and which players, players don't respond well. So therefore, the research that we've been conducting, we, we can become a lot more prescriptive in how we can maximise the benefits that we're trying to achieve. The, the thing is now is that we've got to utilise this camp as a springboard in 2013. So they're going to go right up to the 20, you know, the 20th of December. They don't get back to the 22nd. They've got a short break over Christmas and we're back into it. And we play our first game in you know, that, that early mid February. Period. We know the quarters go for 32, 33 minutes. Right. So if you blokes finished a little bit earlier, we dug in deep. I want to give you a little bit of a Christmas present. Put your hands in. Yeah, good. Right. 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 Right.